another woman. Say okay. what? <laughs> he had what? What? That cheating bastard. What? <laughs> I thought there were only two in there anyway. He, he How had, did he have another woman? He had... Um, so God created another person just for him? Uh, I'm trying to explain it in the best way I can. Um, it was Eve, of course, and it was the serpent, and the serpent as a wife too. So the wife of the serpent, um, I can say her name in English, maybe uh, L-I-L-I-T-E. That's her name. She's very famous. You can read about it in Google. <laughs> you can Google it. And she was basically with Adam for 130 years. So uh, people don't like to mention that story. It's kind of embarrassing because she was not real. It wasn't a physical uh, it was an illusion. So basically, Adam was wasting his sperm. On an illusion. Exactly. So that sperm that Adam was wasting make her pregnant to give birth to what we call today demon. Born from the snake. Exactly. But they are born from her. Gotcha. And, that, and that's why... What does the snake represent then for you? The snake, the snake because was... Because in many, many different cultures, snake represents knowledge. It's not actually a, a bad animal or a bad, evil thing. It's actually a good thing. It represents knowledge and, and healing. Mm -hmm. So in your estimation or in your understanding of things, what does the snake in, in, in paradise represent then? So the way, the way you say snake in Hebrew, it's nachash. 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 Nachash in Hebrew also means to guess. So Nahash means that you're never certain. All what the snake want, or in different language of spirituality, they call him the Satan, the snake, the Satan, um, the Sam, S-A-M-E-L, all kind of name he has, the angel of death. They give him many names. His position is to challenge human being to earn what he has. So if a human want to go to the next level, he has to be challenged by the snake. Always snake has to be there to get you to the next level. So when we say about people, oh, they're acting like snake. You know, it's a challenge. It's, it's, it's discomfort. So every challenge that you have, that you spiritually can get to the next level, you need a snake to come. What happened in Garden of Eden? Everything was perfect. But Adam and Eve could never earn that perfection. Mm. So when you cannot earn something, you're not happy. Happiness can only come from earning. Happiness cannot come from you receiving what you want. I can give you whatever you want. You're not going to be happy. Even if it's millions of dollars, all the fun, all the best food, sex, everything. After a while, a person is not happy because there is no earning point there. Earning is the name of the game for happiness. When you're not earning, is the snake is basically seducing you to skip the earning process and receive. So spiritually, the snake is basically described within the Bible at the beginning as, as the serpent, and they say that he was more naked than the other animal. You know, I don't know if it's been translated like this in English, but in Hebrew, the original Bible in Hebrew say he was more naked. What does that mean he was more naked? How can he be more naked than naked? All animals are naked. Exactly. Yeah. How can he be more naked than naked? But the naked mean that is cover. You know, what, is, what, is, what do you do when you want to go outside? You dress up. You cover yourself to reveal yourself. Our universe operate with we covering, we are humbling. That's the humble. Meaning you're covering something to reveal the next thing. You want to create, I don't know, fruit in, in your garden. You take the seed and you hide it to reveal the next level. Mm -hmm. The snake didn't want to hide anything. He want to reveal that in the full blast, the full blast without any restriction, without any working on earning. Everything in our universe, if you look at our universe right now, everything is a shortcut. We are in a microwave generation. Everything has to be fast. People don't want to wait for nothing. The next generation don't want to wait. But waiting means bad. Waiting I don't want to wait. Oh, they make me wait for so long for the restaurant. They make me wait. The Uber took two and a half minutes more. Oh, my God. Well, what is going to happen? If you look at the old generation, 
waiting was okay, you know, my grandmother was cooking slowly with this little fire, there, five, six hours, food was good. The waiting is gone because the earning is gone and people are not happy. Happiness can only come if you're capable of earning what you have. If you can earn money, but it's not just the work, earn it with your mind, with everything, and be happy. The snake is the advisor in our brain how not to earn. And for that reason, if you pass through that, you're going to become like unbelievable. You become a master of spirituality because as you work on yourself, okay, what do I need to earn? Example, two friends as an issue, they fight with each other. Now, instead of how can I make myself right? How can I explain myself better? How can I communicate better? Is to say, how can I earn that moment that I'm living, like being in a moment that you say, that I can earn this moment that the other person can fully connect to the love I want to give them. So it's so. similar to when we're making love. Yeah. It's always about the other person. It's never about us. It's about what we do, what we give. And only by giving do we actually then open up a channel to receive whatever it is that we're asking for. But whatever you want to receive, you have to give first.